Say that again. The interferometer. And what are you doing? I am aligning the interferometer and making light waves cancel each other with any luck. And it's just a simple, tedious alignment process, like almost everything we do here. If it isn't tedious, we don't want to do it, unless it's dangerous, and then we have a, an intrinsic interest in making things happen that are very dangerous here. Oh, that's not too go. shabby. Okay, I'm, I'm closing the door. Let me see if I can get it even better, though. The littlest movements. There we go. There we go, Adam. That's the way I like it. Now that's what I'm talking about. The Michelson interferometer working. We're splitting a laser beam in two and then recombining it. Right now, since we just touched it, the movement from everything settling down is being seen as a progression of black lines moving on the horizontal axis from left to right. Those black lines represent where light waves are canceling each other, where a high point in a wave meets a low point in a wave, and you have complete destructive interference. Now, my voice, as you notice, is a low frequency. Low frequencies create more displacement than high frequencies. So if I talk like this, you'll see nothing. But if I talk like this, You'll see it. Right now, I'm standing about a meter away from the closest mirror, and I'm just going to blow, and you'll see the impact on the count of three. One, two, three. You can see it takes very, very little to destabilize it. Now I'm going to put my finger on the table and slowly press. As I push down or pull back, we are in effect taking a solid steel, half inch steel surface and bending it a tenth, a quarter, or a half of a light wave with incredible repetitive precision. Forward, back, forward, back, slowly, Slowly. Pretty amazing. The Michelson interferometer. Now, Adam, would you just step on the floor hard? Go ahead, step on the floor. Okay? Now, I want you to walk two meters away to the door and do the same thing. Okay? At two meters, go ahead. Okay? Open the door, go to the next room. Okay? Keep going to the, to the next door. Okay. Stamp on the floor now. Four meters away. Go out to where the sink is. That would be eight meters away. When you're ready, yep, you're stamp on the floor. So, what we learned from this is how incredibly sensitive our setup is to vibration. <sighs> Even though we are floating, that the whole table is actually floating, vibration still at low frequencies sees the isolation as transparent. The magic of the interferometer. This will tell you how stable a holography setup is. If you're constantly drifting like we were at the beginning, your setup is not usable. And as you can tell, you shouldn't be talking during a holographic exposure.